Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click that little blue button right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Today was supposed to be my first day back at work and uh, there was an ice storm. So school was delayed and then called off. And then uh, my boss didn't even go into work because he couldn't get out of his house. I just tried to bring stuff to my mailbox. <laughs> it's raining and ice. Anyway, so that means I get to craft today. Still doing small projects, guys. I'm still winded when I'm up too long um, from the Ovid and uh, tired when I talk too much. So these videos that you're going to be seeing for the next, <laughs> I don't even know how long, be heavily edited because I have to take breaks to breathe. Um, <coughs> While I was down with the Ovid, I didn't have anything to do except, you know, shop online. Look what I found on Amazon. Cute little vintage Easter stickers. And then I went, what are you going to do with these? I just bought them because I think they're adorable. And then I thought, oh, you got to do something with them now. I mean, that's why I buy stuff is to craft with it. And I guess I just didn't think through the sticker aspect of it. I mean, if they were transfers, you could do on eggs. They're too big for eggs. I checked. Can't put them on the eggs. I suppose I could cut them down, put them on the eggs, but they'd look weird. So you know what? We still have these from the banner that I made that was um, Christmas banners. So we're going to sticker up some triangles here. And I had these as well. Remember these? The color washes that I bought? I bought rose gold and then weathered copper color washes. And when I bought them, I thought they were going to be like, I don't, I don't even know, like stain, right? So that's what we're going to do. They're for water-based tint for natural surfaces. So I would assume that's like a stain, right? I'm going to use them. I'm going to start with the rose gold on one of the triangles. And then we're going to put the stickers on here and make ourselves a little Easter banner. So I think. Got a brush. Got my tint. I'm going to start with rose gold. Let's get you guys situated here so you can see what I'm working on. I have never used tattered angel color wash before I don't really know what it's what it's for I don't know why I was prompted to buy it like I don't remember buying it I'm just gonna put it on a brush and put it on the surface here well not a whole lot of color is it thus the color wash it's a wash of color it's not a color like now when I go on Pinterest and I look up products to see how people are using them, I see less of how people are using them and just advertisements for them. And that's really frustrating to me because Pinterest used to be a place where when I typed in um, Tattered Angels Color Wash, you'd see what people were using it for, what crafts they were doing with it and not just advertisements. So now when they became a selling platform, I feel like they became less useful to me as a idea base. Does that make sense? Like I'm not buying off Pinterest. Anyone else buying off Pinterest instead of just looking for ideas? I mean, that's what we all went for was to pin our interests, not shop. Yeah, I'm like soaking the crap out of this at this point. Okay, so that's on there. This is what the original wood looks like. So it's got a deeper color. Let's see what the um, let's see what the aged copper looks like.
Well, good. There's definitely a more of a color in this one. I don't get a copper feel off that. It's just green. Maybe when I well, when it dries a little bit, we'll see. While we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna cut the images out and just have a few prepared here. Picked a couple that I like. Um, I'm trimming around because there's a lot of white area so where you can actually see the printed image goes like see right there I'm gonna cut around it and eliminate as much of that white as possible and as I was sitting here trimming these out because I've already done one what I was thinking was these would be cute on like little buckets those little metal buckets that the Dollar Tree has for like Easter baskets this would make like a cute little vintage inspired bucket. I don't think I have any buckets. Well, I have a metal bucket there that's not being used for anything but holding stuff. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll use that and we'll make up a little bucket here too. But uh, our like little wooden boxes. These would be super sweet on little wooden boxes to wrap a little Easter gift in for your child or grandchild a little candy or something inside their little Easter basket box. The little vintage bunnies on them. They're just adorable. Of course, a little, a little box, a little wooden box with these on it just sitting on a table would be super cute for Easter too. Just a little decorative thing. Use your imagination. Moral of that story pretty much limited by our own imagination. So we're going to, we're going to cut these out. And we're going to try these, but maybe we'll do something else too. Yeah. So I got a little bucket, a little galvanized bucket that I picked up for 50 cents. It was a dollar tree back when dollar tree was a dollar. So I've had this for a while and thinking maybe I need to take the shine off of it or paint it. I don't know. Paint it? Not sure why it's drying oddly streaky, but um, coat one is on there. So I'm definitely going to need a coat too. All right, now back to our triangles. You know what? They still feel damp. I don't want to put a sticker on it when it's damp. Uh, does this one feel damp? Ew. Quick drying my butt. It does say quick drying, doesn't it? Quick dry. No, it's not. Okay, so they're dry. And I'm not going to lie. I hated them. I felt like they were kind of... Eh. So I went ahead and painted the rest of them in blue and pink for Easter. I like these better. So this is duck egg blue. And this is the... Um, the same pink we painted the this with the Dixie Bell. So the Dixie Bell pink and what is it? Conch. Conch. And then this is um Bungalow 47's duck egg blue. Just full disclosure. I absolutely could not stand what was happening with the color wash. So I'm going forward with the painted ones. Now I've only cut out two stickers, but look how cute this looks. Right? Instead of this is the stained or mm. I just kept not loving them. So, all I'm going to do is stick it on here. 
This one is going on the pink for sure because she's in her little pink dress for Easter with her little bunnies. And I have a feeling that peeling the back is going to be the hardest part. I think I'm going to still embellish it. Don't, don't judge it yet. So I just stuck the sticker on. Just kind of find a nice little spot for it. And then I want to embellish around it just a little bit more. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. I'm <laughs> talking a lot with my hands, but I'm, I'm seeing glitter. <laughs> I'm seeing glaze. I'm seeing glitter. I'm seeing some stuff. Okay. Definitely some glitter. But I want to get this little bunny rabbit that I cut out onto the blue one. Because I think he's dapper with his little blue, little blue bow. Isn't he sweet? I just, just look at the face. Look at the face. Oh, I like him. He's so cute. <laughs> I'm not going to want to sell these. <laughs> you guys, they're so cute. I just love them. Okay, I'm going to cut out some more and we're going to get them like, oh, look at this one. Maybe this one will go on the, uh, <clears throat> on to here. Maybe? Are we thinking here? You know what else I was thinking? was the transfer from the other day. Remember the egg transfer? No, we're sticking with our stickers today. We're gonna do some Easter stickers. I think these stickers were only like 10 bucks. Oh, we gotta do the duck. The little duckling, little chicken. So these were $10 for the stickers. I had the paint trying to calculate in my brain what this total project would cost. What was it $12? And I got four banners for $12. So the banners would be the wood banners, these things. Um, a set of, I got four sets of 12 for like, I think they were $12, something like that. $12.99 or something like that. So that would make them like, I don't know if we eliminate the 99, like $3 a, a piece for these. So $10 for all the stickers, $3 for these. This was 50 cents. I had the paint. We just kind of, it's not a very expensive project once you have the pieces and parts. And like I said, I mean, there were a set of four for these. And that was from Oriental Trading Company. That's where I got these. So, I mean... More than one project. No, look how cute this duck is. He's a chicken. Oh, I'm going to have fun with these. All right, I'm going to just fill up the rest of them, and then we're going to start embellishing. But you guys don't need to watch me do that, and I can listen to my audiobook while I cut the rest of them out. Okay? Okay, so I have them all stuck down, and the first thing I'm going to do is Mod Podge over the top. So clear coat them uh, because before we do any embellishment, I want to protect them and make sure that if I mess up on something, like if I'm glazing it and it's too dark or whatever, I can wipe it off. So this is just going to protect it and keep those stickers in place. They're just stickers. They're not going to be permanent, but this will help just keep the sticker stuck down and seal the whole thing. I'm going to seal the entire everything on these so that they're just got a nice clear coat on top. Okay, let's glaze them. I want them to have that vintagey feel because they're so cute. They're all clear now and they're stuck down on there. They bubbled up, which had me worried, but they've laid back down. <laughs> I was seriously sweating it. I was like, oh no. I pushed down on some of the spots as it was drying, and it they've all laid down now. They look pretty good. <clears throat> I love this. I love this little guy. Look at him. Cutie. Um, it bubbled up on here, too, so I went ahead and pressed that down. I am terrible at straight lines, so as you can see, it's not completely level. So, my bad. But still, it's cute. I'm going to take my brown glaze 
antiquing glaze and cover them completely. I talked to the OG while I was doing this and he's working on a project at his house and he's spray painting and he says, it might be too cold. It's only 68 degrees. <sighs> Y'all don't know cold. His blood's already gotten thin. One year in Arizona and he don't know cold. He sent me a picture of snow. So I sent him a picture of what snow really looks like. I said, sweetie, I think you forgot what snow looks like. Let me help you out. <laughs> Believe me, the snow in Arizona is not the same as the snow in Minnesota. It's cute. I'm going to keep going with all the rest of them and listen to my audiobook while I do it. So, same process for all of them, okay? Just to show you the difference the glaze makes. So the one on the right, or that's your left, I don't know. Is this one is glazed, this one is not. You can kind of see the difference. On the pink. Just kind of gives them a more subdued, sort of old vintage look. Right? Okay. Okay, I used the Rust-Oleum Intense Glitter in Rose Gold to give it just a coat, a light coat on all of them, just to give it a shimmer. So we're going to let that dry. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang each one individually. I'm not going to do a banner. I'm going to do each one individually. In my mind, it works out great. <laughs> so just we're just going to have to go with it. Go with it with me. Let me clean the brush before this glitter gets really hard on there. Okay, it's getting late and I'm running out of time, so I didn't have time to put the string on all of the, the pieces, but they're so charming. Okay, so here you can see what the glitter, maybe you can't, but it's got a nice little glittery sheen over the top of it. Here's the one with the ducky. You can see it on the duck much better. They're so adorable. <laughs> I think they're charming. So that's my project for today. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week. DIY tutorials, and of course, more Junkin' videos.